Hello, hello, guys. Welcome to the one of the few first games of uh, APL. And today we have a pretty interesting match. Um, I don't know. I'll just today we have a uh, TLF versus GBI on Omaha, and uh, I got two special guests with me. I have Adam. Adam, how you doing? Good, good. And I have Solus Corpus. How you doing, bro? Oh, buddy. Good to be here, man. Good to be here. Some of my friends uh, that play Hell Let Loose as well from the spree. But, um, man, uh, Omaha, guys. Omaha and 35 people, man. What's what's your first <laughs> take, bro? Like, seriously, bro? Go, Adam. What do you guys think? Definitely interested to see how it shakes out. It's a big map. Yeah, big map. Lots of hedges, lots of trees, lots of places to hide. Especially being 35 35. Oh, yeah. I'm hoping it's actually going to be the uh, the middle or the middle point. I think it'll be pretty pretty cool and fun. But uh, GBI from uh, OCE, they are like a, I think a mix of like New Zealand and uh, Australia. So just keep it general, just uh, OCE team. And uh, TLF is just kind of a bunch of veterans from every team, though. Um, I know there was like some controversy of like them coming in and like just beating everybody up just because they're like super experienced but they said uh nitro has said that you know it's just him and his friends it's mr nitro mr nitro's team and you know they're not gonna do any prep they're just gonna come in and play and just have fun um so yeah man i mean i'm looking for a really good game um, what are you guys looking for? Tanks, I think the, artillery. I think the concept is really cool. I think thirty-five v thirty-five is really cool. Um, mm -hmm. I'm really interested to see. This would be the first match that I've casted or watched for it. So, right. Be right. Yeah, I'm here. Real curious about how the thirty-five v thirty-five is going to pan out, especially with such a wide open map. From the times that I've casted it. Uh, a bunch of the scrims before APL started. Um, it's you really gotta manage your numbers, man. That's that's it's really it. Like you'll have like five people on defense, and then once that cap starts, you gotta figure out. Oh my god, dude, this is this is great for artillery. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> so I'll create a lock squad. But what do you guys think so far for the, my, the points? Might man? be kind of. It might be kind of a blend of like 18 v 18s where like individual effort and individual shine, you know, but like still have the big team play like 49 v 49. So like right in the middle. Right, right. So taking a look at the map for the allies with will we will be on the TLF side. So they are playing allies. Um, we have dog white win 70 to our artillery battery and then orchards to crossroads. I mean, Solus, what do you think, man? Like AT guns? I'd assume. Oh, yeah, dude. AT guns definitely want to have some AT guns set up. I mean, especially with the points all being to the south, you have a lot of play in the north to oh, try yeah. to do a lot of things. Um, this so I'm pretty curious. This will be on APL rules, so it's similar to seasonal rules, but uh, instead of. Let's see, you can see get the highlights on. Instead of um, being able to kill nodes, uh, it's completely safe. So the one artillery gun and no panther. Um, with the point being artillery battery, I think, uh, you know, keeping the tigers up, keeping the 76s up would be pretty key here. Um, the the plus for the, the allies side, in my opinion, I think, because most of the cap points are all in the H column, so it's there's a lot of space in between the midpoints. Um, I mean, it's probably the same for like the axis too, right? This is a big ass map, so. <laughs> I mean, this is yeah. this is already heaven right now. This point layout. Uh, just make sure I have this. Okay, sweet. But yeah, as you were saying, sorry about that. No, I just this is already heaven. As the point layout. Wow, you can see a lot of GBI members on the south side right here. They've got two trucks, two transport trucks going in. Um, GBI, I assume that they're probably going to prep. They've probably prepped 
uh, some snipes. I know they're them as well. They're they're playing like some of their newer guys too. So we'll see. We'll see what how it goes. I mean, the whole purpose of um, I mean, even like the team I play on Helios, like we joined us so we can get the guys that don't get to play as much on the 49s or the newer recruits some more play time or if somebody wants to try like a different position or something like that i think it, this is a good format for it yeah and there's teams out there that can't field you know a full 49 man roster every week so maybe doing 35 it's going to open the gate to more teams being able to participate which is only but which is only good for the community getting more competitive more competitive te teams in more competitive players oh yeah so i like it as we take a look at this right now, um, everybody is heading to artillery battle. You can see the trucks highlighted in green right there. PLF looking two trucks. Uh, one truck is kind of side swiping, but nothing out of the ordinary. Everybody just kind of playing the standard. There's uh, Luke's on the south side for GBI and two spread out trucks. We'll see. I want to see how artillery is. Uh, the plus for allies is that they could shoot all the way to the last point. Oh, some rocket snipes coming in. Dude, I'm, my frames are like dying. You guys can see okay, right? Yeah, oh, yep. yeah everything yeah. looks good on our end. Okay, sweet. Trucks are hopping out. It looks like GBI's got a pretty good push. Uh, into the hard cap here. We'll straight up go down in here. That was good. The strafe from the full train here. He is the commander for TLF. Oh, actually, no, the strafe from GBI. Looks like, uh, TLF's got a OP right in the trench right there. Pretty good start for them so far. It doesn't look like TLF have a lot of people near the, the northern side. You see the two tanks coming in. Only 3 0 3 4 OPs right now for TLF, but defensive gear is all good setup. What do you guys think so far? You can see a fellow caster, Trauma Stu. I was just gonna say, yeah, Trauma Stu. Kind of he is playing for TLF this season, so it's, you've got two casters on one team. Since so there's only two people Is that the Panzer IV? Oh no, that's the uh, Linux. No cap, cap progress from any team. I mean, it's kind of just going back and forth, but it does look like GBI is not going to be this. See the medium and the steward just below on the bottom of the screen. I just want to make sure when I open my map, it opens up properly. So you guys could see the resources already. Um, but nothing. Does TLF have? Oh, okay. they just have extra, extra boxes down. But man, they're they're meat grinding. I mean, one satchel, that's it, right? <laughs> yeah, I'm going to go for it. We'll do the loot since we're in there. Luke's just trying to come in and uh, put a little cap weight. You can see the medium kind of peeking out. I wonder if course he got a satchel down right there. He ran up and now he's running back. A lot of action There's going on. He has chance. It's not bad, the, the artillery guy for uh, the left is getting the right spot to see. It 
is guilty. Guilty is uh, hitting it. I don't know who the GBI artillery guy is, but yeah, GBI just artillery just wiped the whole spawn off theirs. Garrison or a couple of bees. having some presence up here as well man um do you guys think this is pretty pretty important to control especially for artillery battery i don't really play omaha in combat at all so. yeah i mean i'm always in favor of map control it we were talking about earlier it's interesting with 35 you gotta manage your numbers like you were saying so yeah how many bodies do you commit to map control versus hard point. Yeah, man. It's already been like seven minutes into the game. Or, like nine minutes into the game. And has to so. TLF having armor uh, control right now. Uh, let's see. So they've already spawned a triple seventy six, but I think they're gonna stick to uh, running two tank spots, especially in thirty five. So that's like. That is the medium. Is that the medium? The medium is right there and the store is just right there. Yeah. Get a little brave, didn't really have a lot of infantry with him. Yep. So I pause that and uh feel left having kind of good control on the hard time. You have Heidi as a medic, bro. Oh my god. This guy's straight medium's out. gone. Medium does go down. Let's see who's in the same spot. We got Richie, Aviator, and Blue B. Uh, I know there's some casters that don't really shout out tankers too much. Especially with this. But, um, 35s, hey? Why not? We'll give some a little, a little try. Um, not too much MGs from TLF, though. If there's any for GBI as well, no, just maybe one. You see Commander uh, Prom Hub back there. You can see Lamagra. So maybe just a couple G, uh, a couple MGs in like just certain areas, because you can't commit like six guys <laughs> just for MG spots. Still no cap on artillery battery here, and um, GBI have a little control on the south side, but the TLF are just playing the straight forward. Oh my god. What a, nice, a very nice satchel onto the bunker, but TLF are just playing the hard cap. They're just meat grinding it. You can see they've got 103 still. I'm not sure what artillery is that. Artillery for TLF is over there. It's in a good spot. There's a OP over there. I can see artillery for TPI coming in. You can see more TLF members going into the hard cap right now. Must do a fellow caster with the kill on there. Nice rocket from Trauma right there as he heads to the point. PLF have gotten the midpoint there, but it's, it should be pretty straightforward for GBI as the orchard uh, just west of artillery battery is the next point that they have to go for. So GBI is just gonna stand still here. You can see Cook. With the MG spot, um, they've already got a couple guys like Gandalf, the very top there. Don't see a lot of TLF um, OPs out there. There's one, there's a recon, so just taking a look at the map. I mean, their garrison network is, is pretty standard. I mean, it's just around 
up the defensive point, but they are starting to lose artillery battery uh, pretty quick here. You can see all the marks on the map. There's a shit ton of tank marks. <laughs> oh my god, yeah, guys. Yeah. Clear, clear the map. It's clear the map. PLF uh, doing a good job of defending right now, straight from the coming in from GBI's commander Ponda. So the Panzer IV should have moved up. This is pretty bad. Spawn wave. Are you just below us? What do you guys think so far? What are you guys uh, looking to see, like GDI do, or what are you guys looking to see TLF do uh, at this stage? I think both. I mean, I know that you know TLF has committed more to the north. Or uh, excuse me, GBI has committed north, more to the north. TLF is looks like they might be pushing south now. I think they're not in the north anymore, TLF. Yeah. Yeah, no, they can be one guy. They can have the north. As we focus more on the hard cap, with that spawn wave, it will save the cap progress. That tank is still there, but it's probably like that ass right now. Um, you can see. Was there a 76? There was a 76, but where did it there's a steward that's shooting the... Oh, but the, the B4 goes on the other side. No AT for the steward right here. You can see Toby on the other side. Oh my god, he's in there. Roman Road. It's a nice engine from... That the steward does die and could probably expect some more uh, another 76 coming up pretty soon. I mean, there's a default medium, but right now we have the uh, boss man, Mr. Sue, Brand Brandigan's Law in 176 that are making their way to a battery. battery. Uh, but you can see it's, it's, it's all red dots. Looks like TL TLF, they've Put a couple guys on the south side and they're kind of cleaning up the uh, GBI members down there. I mean, I don't see, I don't know the importance of it, but then, you know, map control is always key. If they, if they clear that out, they could, they, they won't have, really have to worry about it too much uh, for a couple minutes, I believe. See Kaz, Kaz is one of Nitro's uh, IRL friends. So it's, it's good to see. Cap prog is halfway for GBI, man. And I think they're doing it right. They, they still got the uh, the starting Panzer IV, man. I'm surprised it's still alive. You see 2AT from uh, TLF there. Trying to look for it. You got a bomber run from What do you guys think, man? Fucking GBI, uh, they're, they're doing it pretty good here in the, the hard cap. The rest of their staying with it. I noticed their recounter yeah. just spamming flares. Player, player, player. Yeah, I think that's helpful. I haven't seen a lot of flares from, uh, what in the world? That's a TLF bombing run on the south side. Interesting. Hmm. So at 113 we have a uh, cap from GBI, uh, TLF coming in strong in the beginning, uh, both teams actually, but now that, that Panzer IV is going to have to swap out pretty soon, right? I mean, he's just splashing AP. You can see the 76 is getting in position right now, another 76 is coming from bottom, 
So I don't know where the tiger is at. Is there were a tank squad and a Luke's once upon a time. Ah, uh, it's right there. It's being prevented to uh, come back. So you can see Doctor over there, absolutely getting a uh, wreck. TLF are knocking on the front door, man. See you in the here. Let's, let's go go down here. It's your time to shine, Lily. We've got a fuck ton of GBI members coming towards us. We've got the bar to see if we get the point. Oh my god. <laughs> That's sad. That, that might have actually been uh, friendly artillery. Considering his uh, position, who knows? Uh, it's it's item squad, so no item squad is it's a tank. So no marking. Um, you have a couple GBI members over there as well, on the very north, very far north side. You can see Lamagra. Let's see. Uh, I just want to check. Let's see what kind of view he has. Oh, he's, he's actually getting shot at. Ah. So GBI coming back, spawning in, and Sweet absolutely fucks Doodlebugs right there out in the open. <laughs> Holy shit. Um, this, this game has been pretty action-packed, guys. Like, everybody's just kind of running into each other. Yeah, it's really pretty much basically a consolidated fight for the center point so far. Yeah, it's this is like this is like Artie Dream, man. Like, if, <laughs> if 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 two teams could fight in one area, well, I'll TK all all my friends. <laughs> it's like, hey, man, like you versus them, I'll probably take a bet on my uh, Artie show. Uh, yeah, I wonder if the difference between having a full 49 v 49 is if there would be more flanking going on with those extra guys right. would it have maybe 35 v 35 you know you got to commit mo more of your team to the art cap yeah i mean you could see uh perpy perpy gets a nice frag right there so he is an sl you can see the mo the mo's making his way to that uh two-story house before i, I cursed him um talking about flanks you've got shroud and uh, you know judge nitro so the man the myth the legend uh judge nitro right here against flow let's see doesn't know where maybe he's going to get the squad trip. so tlf is mr nitro's team but you can see it's just been trading man like these guys aren't they're just playing it straight up the gut. Love to see it. I'm not actually seeing too many flares on the, the hard cap though, so this is interesting. I wonder if they actually have uh, two recon spotters. I mean, I know the, the American sniper is like kind of trash. Nice satchel going off onto the. Uh, the bunker there. They're starting to get cat pressure. Nice to see you, GBI. Yep. What the fuck's cat? So, Perpy? They're just. Are they. Rocky? Yep. Let's see, yeah. Pros and uh, Perpy. Going for it. They built nodes right here. <laughs> I mean, they can't. They can't kill the nodes, so. We'll see right here. Cap progress coming in. You can see a couple flanks going on. Doodle, Doodle's behind them. He doesn't have an OP. 276 is on the south side though, so this will be interesting. TLF spawning in. You can see the defense guys. I'm trying to see what's what going happens on. if you satcheled the garrison and it took out that node. Oh, Do you know what the ramification of that would be? Uh, it's definitely against the will. But with that, this Panzer IV is about to get fucked. There should be two. Uh, I'm not entirely sure, uh, but I would, I would.
would assume that it would be like a disqualification. Be like an automatic. Automatic loss. It's kind of up to like the team leads and like the clans to make sure you guys know uh, what the rules are, right? <laughs> You're not right. just gonna spawn a panda or anything like that, or, you know, um, run three artillery guns. TLF getting some cap pressure, you can see to Reaper. Oh my god. I think it's Satchel. Maybe that was a friendly Satchel. Who knows? But it's, it's been an absolute meat grind. And with 276s on the south side, we're actually in the hard cap. Um, it's gonna be really hard for GBI here. There was a tiger somewhere over there. I don't see it anymore. The Panzer, the opener Panzer IV is still alive. So there he went. Was alive. Now we should expect another tiger to come in. We've got a little proxy cap going on. Let's make sure. Sure, we see everything right, but I mean, just just look at the map. Every everybody's just so spread. It looks like TLF are like just making their way uh, west. They've got OPs already on the hard cap. They've got two. Oh my god! Saw. Corsi. Oh, Corsi doesn't see it. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, when the people be laying go, down. Yeah, a lot of um, a lot of OPs have been wiped off of the area. See, uh, pros just kind of proxy cap right now. I don't think anything is uh, in danger. Too much. That's my frames. Hard to die here. GBI, they're still in pretty good position here. You know, uh, a lot of hedges, a lot of like barbed wire and like trenches that they gotta work around, but I think it's definitely possible. You know, you got like a squad just way out there where they could get those launch carries and whatnot. Grenades are the factor right now. From hedge to hedge. You can see it. I wonder if they know they're on the other side. Heidi, Heidi tells him to go. <laughs> Heidi tells him to go and then he dies. <laughs> Flying Doge and um, George W. Bush. They are in the area. There's no garrison actually on artillery batteries, so with them being in, the, being in there, they are uh, capping. No Soren is uh, a defensive OP. He's kind of anchoring his uh, dog squad. Oh, his OP does go down. The Flying Doge. Let's see. Here a moment. Oh no, it's a laying party, bro. It's not. <laughs> I don't want to see that. You can see the defensive squads are pushing up. Uh, you can see Witness and the mic volume is is my mic too low? Hello? Okay. I got you. I can hear you. I can hear you. Okay. So we are on a 15 minute delay and um Yeah, TLF, they've they pushed GBI completely west. If you take a look at the map here, you can see there's a tiger over there. Uh, the 276s is kind of 
playing with each other in tandem on the south side. No, no infantry on with them. You can see uh, Clover and uh, Soup kind of just being like tank simps. So, so we'll see. We'll actually go jump over there while everything is happening right here. There's, there's a garrison right here. Um, Battle toaster is coming in. He didn't get satchel. Does his tank help his tank? Oh, he's not even looking. Should have been a satchel yet. Boss man, the only man left. The left. see GBI making their way just over here. Um, TLF has been doing a really good job uh, artillery landing on GBI's GBI's OP right here. You can see Reggie and uh, Green. It's a really good spot, man. They they don't even have it marked as OP. So a lot of guys getting pushed out of this western attack area and wow TLF has they've taken control of this north side as well too let's see judge nitro oh no he does not see the mo nice little frag right there but, I mean a garrison in E6 you know, another garrison on the, the point there. So TLF are doing a good job of just clearing them out of the, the east sector right now. They only have uh, 176 up front, but the other, let's see. Oh no. So this is one tiger. Do you guys see another one? It's the one. What do you guys think so far? Um, Adam. How this is I would assume that this complex is a very important. At least to taking the artillery battery. Yeah, I mean I think TLF is doing a fantastic job at spreading out, really gaining that frontline map control. Uh, last time you looked at your map they had a great straight line north south right completely boxing out gbi yeah they're just they're slowly walking them back a lot of spawns being threatened the uh, tlf's artillery is just hitting real really nice right let's see who's playing artillery it should be guilty so he's at 5.2 right now what is what's gbi's artillery uh, Van Cruiser, probably at 326 there. We've got a mark. Let's see if Tofu and Corsi could hold them off until another spawn wave. Looks like Saul is just gonna camp it, maybe? Pro Bono is. Oh my god. And that's friendly artillery. Both artillery is in right here, so this is the sweet spot. The tiger is actually getting engaged right now. No rep station for this tiger. You can see the 76 does have a pink simp with him. this man they they actually saved it so this is good they actually got wiped oh my god yeah man, artillery was fucking them up i don't know if it was friendly or enemy but either way artillery was fucking tlf up right there we do have a bombing run in for tlf from coltrane it does take out the garrison there's a they tanker that get his spawn wave up. <laughs> oh, there's a tanker that that spawn here what the fuck Blue Wii. That's 
it's just wild timing. The the bombing run takes out the garrison and moves on, and then the spawn wave hits, and they all spawn. All oh, right. Uh, we we have something that is just regular supplies. Um, I'm kind of curious to to seeing this because this is interesting. This is a lot of open fields, and the only way you could go up is with cover is along this hedge, but there's a 76 right there. Um, I, I'd kind of like to see maybe, I mean, if they're able to reach this hedge from coming over here and like crossing like that, then they could, uh, I mean, GBI has, has been fending them off. Like they're as much as TLF is like meat grinding and just pushing straight forward. GBI is trying to hang in there and uh, do the best they can. As, as well as TLF trying to push the best they can. The garrison does go down in E6 for TLF. They've got a garrison at the very bottom. Um, I just want to peek over here since the 76 is kind of pushing up. The tiger is still there. I don't know where the other tiger is at. How important do you guys think this this little hedge is though? I mean, other than like terrain. What's the difference between TLF getting into their side of the map and not? Right. If GBI controls this, they could head north and pinch that uh that middle attack, right? They could cross fire into it. Yeah, I mean I think it's super important they hold this. Oh, Tiger gonna hit. Oh, and the 76 hits. Tiger gonna commit. Oh, he's in the hedge now. Cannot see. You can see the tiger pushing back up. You can see a skittle falling back. Sweet. Getting deep in here. Sweet. Doesn't end sweet for him. The mo at the very top over there. I mean, there another point of attack is would be like a flank over here, but I mean it's 2023. Are we flanking nowadays, guys? <laughs> <laughs> Whenever I play pubs, bro, I'd be like, can we get a side OP? And then they're like. City, come on, bro. Just eat bullets to the face. Yeah, but I don't want to. What it's all about. I don't want to. So far, it's kind of been a stalemate as GBR are trying super hard right now to get in there. You see the artillery just fucking everybody up over here. At least uh, GBI's artillery. Uh, TLF's artillery is not too far from that OP, just hitting on the wrong side of the edge there. It's kind of neat too though, um, Adam and Solis, is, is that um, when it comes to 35s, like, uh, it's almost like a, like a arty, arty guy versus the other arty guy battle. Because <laughs> you have to be like... Like you'll have like way more like munitions and whatnot, but like if you're making a difference, it's it, it really matters more. I I feel in 35s. Yeah, I mean that's that's what I was most curious about is like you know there's less people on the on the map, so theoretically that's less of an impact you can make. However, you know if teams are concentrated, then obviously that magnifies the impact you have but I mean if it's if it's a large map like this and it's only 35 people on the other side mm -hmm. and they're all spread out on the front line I mean that's just it's, that's not as good for artillery so it seems as though with this point layout it's obviously uh, making for a meat grind which is artillery's favor but if the point layout wasn't this you know it would be a different story Can't see Battle Toaster over here. The 76 is getting hit from the Tiger at a quite a long distance. Battle Toaster is here. Sad Little. Oh no, Sad Little's not even looking. Oh, they didn't get over. Oh my god. 
what a unfortunate sequence of events there that we just saw. It's literally this 176 that's just holding this hedge line right now with a couple of infantry. You can see they, they even did Bob the Builder over here. Placed a few uh, barricades. I don't see why you wouldn't go uh, rocket though. I mean, you're, you're playing Axis, right? And it's still... You can, can you pen a, a 76 from this side? That, that would make it worth it? I don't know, bro. I don't, I don't play I mean, you can definitely track him. <laughs> 76 is already slow enough as it is, especially with the new rocket. Yeah. But this is the supply truck, I believe. Yeah. So we have the Tiger that's playing very, very conservative right now. Um, we have some money. We have 20 frames, and we're just going to focus on this. Uh, it's looking okay for you guys on stream. I know my upload speed is not the greatest, so it might be pixelated at certain times. Feel pretty good. It's coming in and out a little bit, but it's been pretty good for the most part. Okay. We've got some cap progress actually on the orchards here. Not nothing that's going on. So Orchards is getting cop progress. Uh, TLF, they've got a garrison in C5 right next to Crossroads. It's a juicy garrison. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. They've got two tanks and a couple people in cap sector right now. I mean, you can see the Moe's over there playing like kind of whammo, preppy, and sweet. Um, nobody really on artillery battery. I haven't seen a airhead bomber run from G GBI yet or anything like that. But these these two uh, 76s are just fucking it up, bro. Because now instead of shooting, uh, what is it, west? They're just shooting straight into here now. No AT guns from uh, PLF neither, so. You can see they've kind of made a breakthrough over here, so this is good. They've taken down the garrison. Uh, there's a Panzer IV, okay. You can see uh, Skittle, Centigram, and Ready Fishy on his way, making his move. If he could stay away from the sight line from the 76s, I think this could be good, but it's not looking like it. Seventy six is looking to hunt down this Panzer IV, and that Panzer IV doesn't know what's coming to it. Seventy six is not even looking the right way. <laughs> what are they jousting each other? So the very top view, man, um, GBI, uh, while we were looking at the, the defense, they actually kind of cleared this out. They've taken on the garrison. Uh, they still have a couple spawns in that wooded area, but artillery is just fucking it up for them. Every time they spawn, they're just going to fucking die, so. How does the map look? The map, we've got Able Squad. Down here, you can see lit, but looks like somebody is fighting them right now. Uh, they've got a pretty, pretty nice line going on. They're just clearing out their active sector right now. Um, you can see brew back there. Let's see, trauma stew. Where is uh, shroud? Guilty, guilty is uh, still on artillery, but. A couple guys at uh, the church here. You see Doctor or Witness are making their way. But TLF, man, even though they lost ground, they could just rebuild that Gary and just get back to the meat grind here. TLF's artillery is just decent over there, bro.
Magic mute mute. Ah, but he does go down. See Pedro, Pedro with probably the scope FG. Playing close up. Not afraid to get in a meat grind. Uh, you also have Lamaga over there just covering that north side, shooting south. But we've got a, a nice little uh, flank going on. So these guys are like, fuck the, <laughs> fuck the meat grind. We're going. <laughs> We're coming from the north, bitch. Yep, I think this they're going to start putting the pressure on. 46 I mean, minutes the, left. These are all experienced, PLS pretty experienced team, so I mean, they, they know what to do. Yeah. It does look like some smoke shells coming in. What is killing these guys over here? Magra? Got Nitro, Nitro shift Wing into here. Grink. Oh no! <laughs> I told Nitro, I was like, hey bro, if I find you, I'm gonna follow you, bro. <laughs> but it puts a lot of pressure on Nitro, man. Yeah. It's nice to actually see him play, play in the game um, as much as he uh, casts. So, Big Judge Judy, Big Judge Judy making his way over here. Pedro eating these uh this wheat field here you can see big is looking for Pedro it's a good uh defense call back not sure what's happening at all well they've lost a lot of ground on the south side they have absolutely no control over here I mean they've they've got the recon plan so they expected people to come over here but um you know that it's we've got an OP down here and behind them, so and uh airhead. Wow. TLF not satisfied with the 3-2 situation right now with 44 minutes left to go. They're going for it. They're looking for it. Looking for a 4 1 right now, and then we'll see what goes after that. But GBI, uh, not really having presence near artillery battery either. I mean, if we look over here, there's there's Gandalf. Whoa. So this could be interesting. We'll, we'll see if uh, GBI drops a airhead themselves. But this could be a trap, though. If they all leave the, the point here, then it's. It's bye bye to the point, right? Especially with 35 people. Cap progress is coming in. Four TLF on the second point here for GBI. GBI is gonna need need some help. Yeah, they're gonna do a little box thing now. Even with the sheer amount of people on... Uh, what point is this? On orchards. It's, uh... It's still going down. You've got a couple guys. So this this is interesting. So they've got almost the same amount of people in the active sector, right? So they've they've got a squad of people committing to artillery battery, but even though TLF is knocking on the front door, they're not giving up on the attack. Do you, do you guys think this is the right call? I mean, gotta, it'll definitely be a good play to kind of help. Be I back again, especially yeah. they can get any pressure. Right. GBI's getting a little bit of weight on center. See all the squad leads talking right now. Blue V, Richie, 
uh, the flying doge. So Richie and Blue V, they were tankers, so maybe they don't have that much fuel. You can see Doodlebugs, uh, Jim, and uh, Nitro coming back. You could also see uh, Brew as well. Caprog is still going in right now, so they're definitely keeping this. It does look like Brew knows where these guys are coming from, though. See, Aviator's not looking the right way. Aviator. Nope. Alright, look, here we go. Two guys trailing back. No, he was trying to find somewhere to, go to jump over. Cat Prog is starting to go back on the middle point, but TLF, they have been coming straight at it. They're sending in the 76s, and this could be really good for them as GVI. They've, they've, they've kind of just been dying. I mean, the, the tanks are, it's either a 1v2 situation or they're getting rocketed in the ass. You can see uh, Jermonks back there as, as an AT, like I was saying. Sweet. Trying to make the play right here. I'm rocking in. He gets two, but that's about the most that is going to happen there. There was a garrison here. No garrison there. TLF still capping with 276s. And man, they've they've been been pushing really good, man. Yeah, this is pretty good. Right up the gut. Yeah, I mean that was the play oh, yeah. push, and then when uh, GBI went for the middle middle sector, then you know the defense held out, and now they have fourth point. Bombing run incoming. Right on top of. Oh, it, it fucking killed one of the 76s. Damn, you don't see Oh, it killed both of them. What the fuck? Wow. Oh, wow. Oh, my Damn, God. Bombing run. So, the bombing hurt. run from GBI killing both 76s. Do not see that, bro. Jeez. Somebody's gonna clip that for sure. <laughs> um, the tiger trying to help GBI right now. Go to Orchard. You can see the map. There is uh, Shroud trying to make a, a garrison right there. Do you want to take a look? There's only two people on defense right now, but GBI are trying to commit to Orchard here as they don't want to lose ground and they know that 276 is going down so this is a good chance for them to push up if they could win some of these frags and keep their uh tiger alive. in combination with artillery too though you don't know where they're at until a flare goes up or something So what do you guys think? There's a launch carry for Crossroads here. It's very close. Uh, nothing is too concerning at the Orchards right now. They're kind of just holding. Only partially kidding, but it'd be kind of cool to see like a mass redeploy on that garrison. That'd be nuts. <laughs> the tiger here kind of leading the charge. Um, with only a couple of infantry near them. I'm sure they know that there's no tanks on the field right now. Um, you, with with the APL as well, you are not limited to um, the amount of tanks you could deal. So, you can have six tanks if you want. That's totally up to you. Looks like a recon tank is over there helping as well. GBR are starting the cap projects right now. See, the garrison is not in too much danger. There's no mass redeploy. There, are, there is a couple guys on the last point here. See Terry, the Mo, and uh, Gogo trying to get something. 
launch carry for TLF is right there. But this tiger being on the point right now is really helping them. Master redeploy right there. You can see, let's see if Pedro could actually fight a bunch of these guys here. Going back to TLF. Huh, you we have a couple of GBI members over there. They're like in this area. Is that still in soft cap? No. But they're out of condition. Big redeploy over here for defense. You can see Heidi and uh, Cook about to go against each other. Let's see. Nice hip fire from Cook. It does go down by Doctor or Custody. They're really knocking on this front door of uh, Crossroads. You can see Perpy trying to make a move to the garrison here. Very good for the GBI member Perpy playing defense. Taking out taking that out. I'm sorry guys, my my frames are like right now. But heading back to the orchards here, we've got a little cap progress coming in. Um, the artillery is hitting pretty close to where uh, TLF has their garrison uh, not quite exactly on it the recon tank has probably oh the recon tank just completely passes it what the fuck it's right here My satchel. Come on, Ryan, go sneak to drive. Oh, no, 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 not towards friendlies. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Soup getting the satchel and. Oh no, what's going on here? Oh my god. So the satchel does go off. You can see GBI man going on. Um. GBI are just playing really defensive right now. Um, I mean, looking at the map, uh, what do you what do you what do you guys think so far? We've got 276 coming up. Uh, what, what could GBI do? You know, honestly, I'd like to see maybe a little more north, but I mean, they're, they're definitely going to have to do something about the 76. Uh, cause that's okay. where the that's where. TLF got him last time was doing the dual 76 push from the south. Right. But now they're actually split their 76 this so. Interesting. So. And the tiger retreated off point to an orchard. We'll take a look. So, Guilty Verdict, he's got 935 uh, CE right now. I think uh, Land Cruising with 700. You can see Tofu. Does go down to alien pervert. <laughs> uh, it's kind of funny to say like, "Hey, like, I died to an alien pervert." Yeah, it's a, it's a good name. I like alien pervert. Very it's good. good. Um, GBI on the south side. They've they've got two. I was about to call it seventy six. Um, I think it's a tiger, tiger, back in too. Two tigers, so. 
You see the marks from TLF? Right now, 32 minutes left to go. Um, I think I say GBI try something. You know, it's it's a good good timing. They could push up, and um, especially with their armor support here. But those tigers are dangerously close to a lot of blueberries. Too much for my taste. I would me as a tanker. I I I don't know. I'd probably fucking eat that shit in. And not care. <laughs> hmm. I mean, Tillis doing a really good job just walking them back. Right. Every time they try to counter, I mean, Tillis just counters them right back. Yeah, I think they gotta get at least one of these tanks down before they do anything. GBI needs to destroy one of TLF's tanks, if not both. Right. You can see the positioning right now. We've got one in D6 and another in D8. So yeah, and they're spreading, and TLF is spreading out, chain linking those OPs. So they're they're getting into position for map control. You can see they're kind of focusing on the C column, like C5, 6, and 7. So, um, having control of that then kind of helps. Helps at least, like, this area, basically. For them to not worry too much about it. That tiger is definitely marked and it's, it's dead to the 76 on the bottom side. It's been a lot of strafing runs this game. Yeah, yeah, GPI is probably on the strafing. I wonder if this tank is actual. I saw an 18 player walk by. Got his gun to the back, you can see Hammurabi. Bomb and run. Bomb and run or GBI, that ship take out that Gary on the point. Uh, no supplies nearby for another Gary, but maybe they'll like build it right here or something. Lots of Garys to fall back to, but it's basically 200 meters. You can see the commander dropping supplies a little bit closer to the point. Actually, on the point. But they've they've got to keep this target alive, man. Once it goes down, it's it's pretty fun. There should be another tank right here, right? From what I saw. This one died? Yeah. Yeah, I guess it did. Yep. Well, okay. That tank does die. They've got this tiger still marked. Still getting chased after. Uh, artillery hitting in all the right spots. But I would like to see... Um, at least GBI's defensive spot push up this main road and just kind of clear all this out. It'd be a nice lane to have this and then this to pinch down to uh, orchards. It's easier said than done, right? <laughs> Got a couple yeah. MGs. GBI's definitely on the back foot. This TLF's front line is it's really great. Let's see what George W. Bush does here. That's a couple nice frags. Let's see. Oh, he doesn't get that one. Get some hits on it, but doesn't get the kill. You can see Trauma making his way right now. Where's Nitro at? Nowhere to be found. Um, so GBI actually has a OP. Oh, they have a garrison over here. Interesting. 
Uh, not too many people spawning on it though. Just over here, you could see they're still trying to make something work on this south side right here. You can see soups. Trying to get his OP over there. This is where the the grind's gonna be. 26 minutes left, man, and TLF are just trying to shut it down. I mean, they're already. Oh my God, frames, please. Does it look okay for you? Let me see. Yeah, yeah, it looks good right now. Looks fine. Okay. Yeah. So there is something that. There you go. Okay, looks fine. Uh, we've got some cap progress onto orchards here. We'll see, it will be halted. So, nothing too concerning. Smoke rounds coming in. But like I was saying earlier, um, since the artillery is basically like, what, 200 meters up, they can shoot actually into crossroads. They can probably shoot like all the way over here, right? Yeah, I'm fairly certain they can reach much better. So no, TLF not, not all the way, but most of the way. Pretty close. TLF, um... They are in this little barn right here. Uh, no cap progress for them uh, currently, but it does look like GBI are trying to sniff out all the intruders. Let's take a look it's just a shotgun. Shot I can't kill them. them. Yes. Uh -huh. Oh. 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 <laughs> I could have okay. killed that guy. Proximity chat does wonders. Ah, we've got something going on with the tanks. Not sure. Maybe this tank is fighting a tank. But cap progress is going back to GBI here. It's it's just flickering back and forth. So I'm sure here. I mean, they've got a garrison right here. It's probably from like over here, right? Where we're looking at. Yeah, it's got like, they got like OP right there on that corner where Sweet and Tofu is. Right. So just below us, they are trying to find this avenue right here. To your left, they've got little to no presence right here. They're more so just coming straight down over here. Got supplies going in the back. Right here. So many planes. Okay, just supplies. 23 minutes, I think it's more than enough time. Uh, as long as GBI are able to clear out a lot of these guys, uh, you can see Let's. He's, he's kind of doing uh, quite a bit of work here. I mean, they've, they've got a fucking Gary, like, literally right here, bro. <laughs> yeah, front door. This is literally, like, I don't know how much more meat grind you could, you could do, and GBI are not going near here. We'll see. They're going everywhere but that area. Should go down pretty soon here. Preppy took down the other launch carrier before, so. Oh my. Ooh. 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 What? <laughs> Dude, that's like the same thing that happened like Repo. That that's what Repo that. did, but, but yep. Repo killed everybody. Right. That's the difference. Uh, the, the homie Repo, it sucks that 
can't be here, bro. But uh, uh, next time, bro. that was that was uh, interesting. So 22 minutes. We've got a couple guys coming down the main road right there. Um, TLF. They're kind of holding this little like slanted road. And um, I don't know. Let's see Nitro right here. Let's see. Nitro and Dusty in the flesh. Nitro, take some shots. Dusty, looking for something. It's Channel 30 News, live from the helicopter. Nitro, getting a frag right there. Oh my god, my friends. It, this normally doesn't happen, but I'm, I tried something new with like my OBS, so I apologize, guys. Oh, you're good, brother. We can blame it on Solus. <laughs> yeah, there you go. <laughs> like, he's lagging me. <laughs> um, we'll just take this uh this moment to uh, cheers if you guys are drinking. Anybody in stream and Adam and uh, Solus. I told Adam I was like, fuck it, like let's let's just cast this game and like drink some beers and chill. <laughs> yep. I'm down. I sure am. Nice Saturday night, you. You guys have a game too, right? With the uh, spree. Who, who do you guys play? Uh, we play tomorrow. Who are we playing tomorrow? Adam? Uh, Broken Arrow. Broken Arrow. Yeah. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So Broken Arrow for yeah, you guys like tomorrow. SMDM? Yeah. Oh, nice. It's kind of been back and forth right now. It it seems like the amount of numbers uh are affecting like each push. I don't know if you guys have noticed that. So like TL, they had like a stack of people right here. And even though they had a very good garrison that probably could have won, they didn't spawn them over there and push straight into the point. I mean, with the sheer number, they, they probably could, right? And just like stacking that house or something. Yeah, definitely, definitely been a little bit, I'm actually kind of surprised at how slow paced it is. It's tricky trying to figure out how many people are where and you know do we need to push you know this sector more do we need to pull some guys over here you know to help this people out i mean gbi they're they're kind of everywhere like they've they've had people always over there uh in this general area i mean they 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 were over there when they got pushed back so definitely with the numbers it's they're kind of shifting everybody a little bit everywhere um, with 35s though it's very easy for somebody to slip in slip through the cracks man and that's the annoying part of 35s i mean even though it's what only two more players is it? it's like 14 more players compared to 49s did i do my math yep. right yeah yeah makes a difference though those 14 players oh yeah man it's you're using a lot more or less OPs because you know if everybody runs OPs like who's gonna run AT to kill the fucking tank? <laughs> so it's it's a different mixture uh, of, of gameplay, but either way, like these guys are getting more comp experience, especially if guys are like playing uh, first times. I know that TLF are a bunch of veteran guys, but uh, I was told that. They, they didn't prep for for anything so they're just coming in they, they probably have um, a lot of map knowledge of Omaha but it's it's good for GBI because they're playing against like good players you know but it'll only make them better I wonder if the 76 wonder if he's gonna see that tiger right down the road from him where's it at there's a 76. Am I tripping? I can't see the 76. See the tiger. Yeah, I can't either. Yeah. Oh my god. Yeah, that tiger. Oh, we were no, gonna see it. it. Another oh my god, all these fun. Yeah, that's not good. 
This is a two man, so it's Aviator and Blue V. Oh, and Heidi just keeps getting uh, fucked. So the what? There's a tank right here. Where there it is. There, it was. It was a little bit further to the to the east. Now it's a solo. Trauma getting two rockets in there. They don't know this OP is here though. That's weird. The oh okay, so it's it's spaced out that the tank didn't burn the OP. That's a solo. It's a crewless uh, tank squad. Take a look over here, guys. They're, they're they're getting closer. You can see Bear. Bear was there. Uh, Tazi nine nine. See Soups as well. They've got a. Uh, oh my God! They're stacking a lot of people. On. Yeah, they seventy six with them now. That seventy six went down. Trauma getting a nice. Coolest. Tank kill right there. Gogo -Go still on the point. You can see Grink maybe trying to put an OP somewhere over there. Tank crews are hopping in the tank and they're coming to the midpoint right here. But we'll see. No, no cap progress still for TLF guys. Looks like a garrison just got satchel right in front of us on that G garrison mark. Two tigers up? Or is that a pack for? Oh, that's a tiger. We saw some cap progress going in for GBI there, but I'm not entirely sure what's going on. Why uh, Crossroads is not getting capped? I mean, are they out of the cap sector? Oh, they are. Yo, that's that's a fucking cheese. You can actually get in the house right here, right, and just stay in the corner. But they're actually not doing it, so... A nice little push from... GBI as we can kind of... Kind of see what both sides are doing. You can see so many players from TLF uh, really close to... Crossroads, but GBI are pushing. So with TLF committing to the attack right now... Uh, with no cap progress, you can see GBI are meeting right now they're they've got, they've got 14 minutes left um yeah there's there's only a couple of people in the the hard cap right now I see maybe they're they're trying to cheese it right now oh my god so bombing run incoming for gbi A bombing run does not kill a tank this time, so <laughs> sorry, relief really for uh... TLF. GBI, they were capping. Respawn. It's 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 so weird, man. Like when you get in these cap situations, you don't know like actually how many people are actually there. Nice defensive spawn wave coming in. Oh my god, what's, what's this target doing? How do you stop? Nope. Cap progress has halted for GBI. Uh, still no progress on crossroads here, but you can see there's like. Yep. It's a nice shot from the 76. The, seven, the other 76 is pushing orchards right now, though. So. Yep, cap progress is going. You've got Jim Adler over there. Making his way. Trying to spot that 
Tiger out for the 76. The 76 could probably push with comfort now, knowing that um, the other Tiger has been dead. And we'll see. You can see uh, GBI actually capping too, but for GBI. Oh my god, there's a Rick. Hello? Oh, uh, yeah, look at yeah. Hello? Oh, and he gets rocketed from the ass. What's um, going on? Yep, how'd he got the satchel on? Yeah, like, what's happening? Uh, <laughs> oh my god. There was, there was so much going on right there, bro. I don't even know. <laughs> that was... <laughs> it's like, you die, and then you die, and then you die. <laughs> Nobody's safe out here, bro. <laughs> um, uh, Alright guys, you, you guys are going to have to cast the rest of the game here. <laughs> <laughs> oh. That part is paused. The other 76 is coming in. What? What happened? Flying Doge does take down that 76 there. Uh, you can see Lit with the grenade. Second grenade does take down the OP. Uh, let's let's take a look at the map. Uh, no garrison at all for TLF near. That, that's very off OPs. Yeah, uh, there's a garrison in the red. Uh, very nice to see from a veteran player. <laughs> maybe they're just like, oh, fuck it, let's, let's build the game. Uh, or maybe they're using it as a, uh, like a beacon to see if anybody's like 100 meters around. Is it 100 or 50? 100 in red. It's just been so meat grindy, bro. This whole game, but TLF. They've been putting the pressure on as much as they can while GBI have been trying to do their best to take orchards. They've got nine minutes and so they've got to capture the orchards and they've got to go to, uh, what is it? Artillery battery. That's, that's a pretty tough task, but I, I think it's possible, man. I think it's hundred percent possible. I'm trying to get a little cap for now. No one garrison. Okay, one garrison, one OP. Uh, they've built a garrison in the weak field. You can see Trauma Stew close by. Uh, you can see Sook with a flamethrower shooting at him. Half progress is coming in. I wonder if they commit. I mean, they've got eight minutes, man. Yeah, they're gonna they're gonna have to have to commit. Flow. Getting his chance, taking out that garrison. Cap Park is still going to GBI. Was oh, they wasted the airhead. Mm. They have, I don't think they have anybody at artillery battery right now. So, this this is interesting. So they they've used the airhead. So. But the last eight minutes, they don't have an airhead, right? For GBI? Right. Yep. Um, unless they get like a, a Kubel wagon or something. Or a half track. You could see the tanks for TL, you know, the 76. It's going to be a long way from the get there. But GBI, they're, they're, they're capping and they're, they're doing it right now. Uh, temporarily. Uh, Garrison does go back up. Near Mortuary, but oh, they, they are defending right now. No reinforce going on. TLF needs to rebuild that garrison on the front line. Yeah, 
if they want to fight though, I guess. Yeah. Might want to just bunker down now. They've got it. Got one right there. The garrison's still lighting up for TLF. I mean, if GBI, all oh, the artillery is just fucking them up right there, bro. Pretty sure that's uh, TLF's artillery. Caprock is going to TLF on the last point here. There is a uh, tiger at the northern side, but this spawn wave is full commit for GBI, man. Yep. Let's fucking They're go. all in. Which is which they need to. Garrison is red. You can see Pedro seeing it. They've they've got nothing for the second point though. I don't I don't see anything. You can see the the one of the tankers spawning in over there. Unless they take the tiger over there, but we'll we'll see. Uh, even though they cap it, they've, they've got to somewhat defend it. But, uh, time... Time is a very big deal right now. For them. A big cap from GBI right here. Uh, fully committed. Getting a couple nice OP battling against artillery and, and all. We'll see. They don't have an airhead. So... But that airhead did help them. I believe it's right there. That airhead did help them cap orchards though, so. I wonder what they do now. I mean, they've got a uh, brew, they've got a 76. <laughs> they got a. Airhead, airhead one came in really big handy, Ruffin. Yeah. They're trying to at least get immediate cap pressure on it. Right, right, right. I mean, they have another tank over there. I'm not sure what what it's. Is it shooting? I can't see the middle of my screen. Richie and Aviator. I just send the fucking tanks right now, bro. I just like just, just fucking run over there. PLF playing it very safe. They've pulled the 76 to just stay on point. But I mean. If I were to predict the future here, I think it's, it might end as a 3-2 here. It's a, it's a really great showing from GBI, guys. What do you guys think? What are yeah, your I mean, they capped, they capped a few times and on a, against a veteran squad. It's impressive. They never gave up either. It was cool. A lot of teams, when they see their fourth or their fifth point start to go down, you know, they just are like, you know, they more or less give up. Yeah. Fellas, what do you think, bro? Mm. I mean, you gotta use, they have to use their head to try to help get them the fourth point capped, but I think that hurt really, really bad. Yeah, I agree. But. GBI did, they did a really nice job actually thwarting TLF's attempts to get the 5-0. I mean, they did a really good job pushing them back. Oh my god, is this steward gonna go out alive? Cool. <laughs> uh oh. Uh oh. He thought he was riding off in the sunset, but little <laughs> did he know, that's not the ending to the story. 2.55 left in the game, but as Solus and Adam were saying, man, it's, you know, um, both team really, really put on a show, man. You know, tanks dying, people dying, artillery killing. Um, Omaha is not one of my favorite maps, but... A lot better to cast than um, Hill 400, so I appreciate these guys. Uh, <laughs> Matt banning this one. I fucking hate Hill 400, bro. It's like trees everywhere. Yeah. 
I think at the cost of me like losing my frames on Omaha, um, I, I'd still rather cast Omaha. That'll be it, man. That's, that's like five seconds left. Everybody's kind of just playing defense, and there, this is what it's gonna be. So GGs to GBI and uh, GGs to uh, TLF as TLF will take this 3-2 against GBI as allies on Omaha. Um, a couple guys are getting the last few hits in, but uh, let's go ahead and check some of the scores, guys. You guys see anything that stand out? Got um, Roman Roy. Um, they put in a lot of work. Thirty-four hundred. Uh, what? Built the verdict. Yeah, you had a good arty game. Yeah. Guilty, he's got 1100. Uh, let's see. Flying Doge, he actually got 637. He was kind of a little bit everywhere. Uh, Centergram, 508. You know, George W. Bush, 60. So, a lot of a lot of action. A lot of action. Um, who was, I think it was Land Cruise, right? He got 957. Yeah. Yep. So, I mean, these guys are playing with like 200 plus ping. No West server, so yeah, we don't need some five stacks. <laughs> but yeah, um, that's gonna be it, guys. That's gonna be the final uh, ending result of the match here, as my thing is not working properly. Um, GG's to both teams. I mean, it was it was just a straight meat grind, man. It was fun, though. I mean, I think that each individual segment of the team shined in their own way. I mean, you had tankers that shined. You had artillery that shined. You had, you know, each individual squad shining um, for both sides. I, a great match, honestly. Lots of back and forth, and we saw some good tactical maneuvers and strategies that uh, each team played. Yeah. And that worked. Some some worked, some didn't. I mean, it was it was great to see. Yeah, man. Yeah, I mean, the initial cap was crazy. It was like, what, 11 minutes, 12 minutes for the initial cap? Yeah. It was very grindy. They were just running it, running into each other, satcheling the bunker. One tank would die, the other would die. Uh, I mean, that Panzer Forest stood alive like fucking forever. <laughs> uh, so, um, it's been great. Uh, this is the week one of APL. Um, you guys, if you guys want more information, I could type the Discord in APL 15 minutes from now. But uh, thank you guys for watching. Um, Adam and Solus, thank you guys for coming in. It's always a pleasure hanging Indeed, out with absolutely. you guys. Thank so, you. So, yeah, uh, we will end it right there and uh you guys have a wonderful rest of the weekends and more matches tomorrow on sunday all right so yeah have a good night and uh i'll catch you guys later see ya thanks for watching